Uh, bon Appetit. <laughs> Happy National Vinegar Day. Right there on the insanity calendar. Would you believe it? November 1st is Vinegar Day. I've never acknowledged Vinegar Day before. Oh, that was Buzzy. Maybe Buzzy will come back. Buzzy, you probably haven't seen in a while because she stayed indoors all summer. Now the temperature has dropped. Buzzy's coming back outdoors. Listen up. We've got to figure out what the heck to do with these things. Uh, so I was thinking we could uh, kind of evaluate each bottle, each content. And then I was thinking of trying one. The Forbidden Dumpster Fruit. Dumpster Veg. Uh, whichever one looks the least rancid. So the deal was in the 90s and probably earlier, people used to put weird vegetables. And there's there's two dry ones here. This is spices. That one's beans. They used to pickle vegetables into these fancy bottles to use as decor. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I famously hate vinegar. Uh, I don't mind... Uh, bold and zesty Italian dressing. And I don't mind those jalapenos that are in the pickle jar. And I don't even mind a pickle once a year, like like turkey, once a year, I'll eat some pickles on pickle day, okay? And that is November 13th. But you gotta admit, some of these bottles have cool shapes. So uh, you could probably already guess my favorite, that one. Uh, let's see what's in that one. edamame or some kind of beans chopped carrots that is some kind of pepper jalapeno maybe unpitted olives and then red pepper this one is similar but I think this one must have been dyed look how green those peppers are and then they shoved a, uh, a citrus fruit right in the middle this one is like banana peppers See, these are grapes. These are grapes. Some kind of weed. Oh, rosemary and more peppers. This one, uh, this bottle, I hate. I hate. What is it, a D or a lowercase b? That looks like all citrus plus pepper. Oh, no. See, everything deteriorates, such as life. This one is some beans, some peppers. The star looking thing is not anise. I think it is uh, just cut. No, it's it's a star fruit, huh? What are these? Is that coffee? Tobacco cut like a star. Some very decroted peppers. More olives. Uh, this is the only shape I have found twice. Cherry tomatoes and weirdo peppers. I was thinking about putting other stuff in some of the bottles if I can get all the smelly content out. Oh, this is the biggest one. It looks like all citrus. No, the middle. It, it has to be something else going on. This is carrots. I'm not gonna believe this. That one's so ugly. I like the I like the triangle bottle, and this is my second favorite. Okay, it spirals. That one doesn't look too degraded. Well, because it has a screw cap, not a cork. Oof. Okay, this that bottle's actually broken. It's supposed to have, I guess, some decorative flair. Uh, that's why I had to put it in that stand. And that looks like all peppers. That one looks awful. That one's dried beans. But it's a curious-looking bottle. Uh, so that's my number one bottle. That's my number two bottle. My third favorite bottle, I guess, is this triangle. Okay, and this one is just spice. Salt, paprika, uh, black pepper, cumin, I don't know, garlic. I don't know. Oof, I don't know. Okay, I've, I've poked around at a few things. This one has a metal lid, and you can see the high density, or the highly concentrated vinegar has corroded that. A lot of the ones with the screw lids, the plastic screw lids, I haven't checked this one. Well, that ain't happening. 
There's a rubber cork underneath. <laughs> so this one. Oh God. It's so pungent. But this one you can you can actually smell the lemons in the vinegar. Those those I'm telling you were all bright yellow lemons at one point. I don't know how I would even clear these. I gotta get some skewers or something. <laughs> uh, anyway, I peeped this one. <laughs> Those carrots. <laughs> They're so mushy. Oh. No. Ah. Uh, mm. See, I thought these. I thought these would all. Despite how old they are, I thought it would just smell like vinegar. A lot of these do smell rotten. They smell like decay. That's the only thing that's been able to shake out. These green beans, they were on the top of this. pretty clear. White vinegar is distilled uh, ethanol. Crane up. <clears throat> oh, something hit my throat. Okay. That is all I'm willing to try. Very concentrated vinegar. I don't get any sense of pepper or heat. Okay, I'd say this one is relatively safe, <clears throat> but I guess we'll know if I don't do videos in the next three days. How would you even clear these? See that? This smells rotten. <sighs> so someone made a career out of dropping little pieces of chopped vegetables. Now I'm gonna need I'm gonna need one more grape in there before I start the green peppers. You messed up there. All right, I might have I might have done that. Just drop just stuffing vegetables into empty into empty bottles. Pour vinegar on it, corking it up, and selling it to the Americans. Okay. Never did I ever anticipate these things being so hard to extract. So what I've been doing is taking this metal stick and just pulverizing everything. So that was relatively easy to clear. The carrots were very mushy. This one... It's probably going to clear soon. Oh, snap. I keep, uh... You see what I mean? <clears throat> I keep rinsing them out with the water hose. Oh, yeah, this one's kicking my butt. Because... There's nowhere to go but straight down. You can't sway left or right. 
So I have to get every piece into the pulverized position. Uh, I even started working on this one. Well, first of all, look, I took the corks out of the dry ones. Look, you can't even get these beans out, these dried beans and lentils. Yeah, I started working on this big one even. Hey, you just gotta pulverize. Every 30 year old piece of fruit. Now the ones with lemon in them do maintain a lemony smell, a lemony smell. The rest just takes like, not taste. I did it, I did eat that one piece, but I meant to say they smell like vinegar and diarrhea. And the other thing is I'm trying to keep it contained. I don't want the family dog eating the stuff or smearing his face in it. He's the kind of dog who would smear his face in it. But really, um, I guess I'm just trying to rescue a couple of my favorites. I might just end up throwing out the ugly ones. Because let's face it, no matter what you put in this, that's an ugly bottle. That's an ugly bottle. I think that would look cool with some toys in it or something. You know, this is toy insanity after all, not vegetable insanity <laughs> not vinegar insanity where's my stick oh, oh yeah maybe that's maybe this is what you came for don't people like seeing things get crushed? Oh, yeah. That's that forbidden salsa. I feel like the smell is going to linger for months. Oh, yeah. Here he goes. Oh, okay. I got to tell you, my grit, tenacity, determination, stick to itiveness has paid off. Uh, it's been about an hour since I started. And I've cleared uh, four of 18 bottles. Four. My favorite three plus this one. I got to tell you, the unpitted olives that were in this. The worst. You get you got to precisely line them up in the center of the bottom, smash them, realign each one individually, realign, realign, because they get stuck right up here. Okay, that's probably all I'm doing. Because some of these bottles are just ugly. Oh, but I wanted to show you. <coughs> Satan smoothie. Mm. Oh yeah. And I wanted to provide a personal anecdote because yeah, my mom did have, growing up in the 90s, my mom had these sort of things on her counter. And I was I know at least once, I was like, Mom, when are we ever going to eat those vegetables? Those aren't for eating. Those are for decor. Unbelievable. What a what a first world notion to uh, display food that you don't even eat. Anyway, these were not hers. I'm sure hers are deep in a landfill somewhere. But we do what we came to do. I think. Let me know if you've seen these in your parents' house or if you've seen them at the fanciest restaurant around called the Olive Garden. And uh, remember, don't eat them. Not for human consumption. Thumbs up. Goodbye.